Does Scott Peterson deserve a second chance? And that's where we start tonight. Another bombshell announcement in the Scott Peterson case. The Modesto man could get a second trial and a second chance. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Curtis May. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. Peterson was convicted of killing his wife and their unborn son 16 years ago. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live tonight with what could happen next in the case. Marissa. Well, at issue now, guys, is one development about a specific juror nicknamed Strawberry Shortcake because of the color of her hair. Now, the question is with whether she withheld information about her past. For me, a big part of it was at the end, the verdict, no emotion, no anything. Rochelle Neese outspoken after Scott Peterson's conviction, now telling us no comment. Now that the Scott Peterson case will get another look. The California Supreme Court says Rochelle, juror number seven, didn't tell the court she was the victim of a crime while pregnant and had filed a restraining order against her boyfriend's ex girlfriend. Had we known some of that information, she would have been challenged for cause. Scott Peterson's former defense lawyer says Rochelle intentionally hid that information from the court. The typical stealth juror who went under the radar, none of us picked up on it. He is a oh, jerk, and I have oh, one comment for Scott. You look somebody in the face when they're talking to you. Mike Bellisimeri, seen here alongside Rochelle after the conviction, says he doesn't think she That's intentionally withheld it. anything. I don't think she would withhold it for any sort of malicious purpose. Um, yeah, she's a bit of scattered, right? The San Mateo Superior Court will now consider whether there was jury misconduct. If the judge decides there was, the conviction can be overturned, and there could be the possibility of a new trial. But any decision could be appealed. There's pain on both sides. Everybody's a victim by that SOB. Yeah, there's also the possibility that the Superior Court in San Mateo would rule against Scott Peterson and uphold that conviction. All right, Marissa. Well, the Peterson case goes back more than a decade. Lacey Peterson first disappeared on Christmas Eve in 2002. A few months later in April, Peterson was arrested for her murder the same day her body was discovered. The trial began a year later in March of 2004. It lasted eight months. Peterson was found guilty that November. Then 16 years later, this past August, the state Supreme Court overturned his death sentence.